What's up guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to bring you through a very quick, very short, very to the point tutorial to show you a brand new action that just came out in Power Automate to help make your Power BI life that much easier. You ready? Let's check it out. All right guys, so here we are on my computer screen. I have an Excel file open that you can see here. In my Excel file, I'm tracking swag. You guys know I give away t-shirts and pop sockets and water bottles and hats and all sorts of stuff. So I have a uh, Excel file here that tracks all of that swag output. Now, I went ahead and I pulled this all into Power BI. So you can see here that I have a swag data set, which I basically just imported from that Excel file. Now, if you know anything about Power BI and working with Excel, what you're gonna know here is, this is a one-time import, right? When you use an Excel file to import data into Power BI, uh, what you're gonna get is a one-time import. You're not gonna get a dynamic connection that's gonna refresh when things happen. So, for instance, if I go here and I add an item into my uh, spreadsheet, we'll just say it's a speaker and I have 10 of them and it will be at the flow booth, right? So if I go over here to my swag data set that I've made a dashboard on, or I'm sorry, I made a report on. So if I go check this out here, uh, you're gonna see that there's no speaker, right? Because I imported this data set before, I then added data to it, and now, unfortunately, this data is kind of stuck like this. So here's now where Flow can help us out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to flow.microsoft.com. I know the name is now Power Automate. The URL is still flow.microsoft.com. So when we get there, the first thing we're gonna do is actually click on My Flows. I'm just gonna take you through the process here real quick. Click on My Flows, click on New, click on Scheduled from Blank, and then let's add a name. Refresh Swag Data daily, okay? So it starts today at 10 a.m. and we're gonna make sure that it runs every one day. And let's go ahead and actually start this at 11 a.m. Okay, so now this flow will run every day at 11 a.m. Let's go ahead and click create. So now what we can see is flow went ahead and built a little recurrence for us. So every one day, this flow will fire. And when it fires, what is it that we want it to do? Great question. So we're gonna go ahead and add a new step. We will then type Power BI. We will click on Power BI and then check this out. Refresh a data set. Brand new action, just came out like two weeks ago. Let's go ahead and click on that. And now let's go ahead and pick our workspace. I was working in my workspace and the data set I was working with was called Swag. So now, if I just save this, just like this, this flow will literally do whatever it is that we need it to do. So every day, it will kick off at 11 a.m. and it will refresh the Swag data set, right? So let's go ahead and test this out. We'll say I'll perform the trigger action Okay, and we're gonna run the flow. Perfect, we should see some green checks. Success, success. Now, let's go here. I put speaker, right? That's the thing we were looking for. Now, if we come back to our Power BI data set here and we refresh this page, theoretically, we should see speaker pop up in our list here on the right-hand side. There it is, speaker. And so we know that we have 10 of those. They make up 4.07% of our inventory. And now just 
in, in case you weren't paying attention and didn't see that speaker wasn't there before, let's do this one more time. 20 link, let's call this one top hats and we'll get a hundred of those and we'll put them also at the flow booth, okay? So let's go back over here to our flow. Let's go back one more time and then let's run this flow one more time. So done. We see here it's running. Let's refresh real quick. It should be done. There we go, succeeded. Come back over here. We see top hats, 100, over to our data set, refresh the page, and on our right-hand side, not only should we see speakers, we should now also see top hats. Speaker, oh, oh, it's not, what happened? What happened? Let's go back to our thing here. Okay, it should be there. Let's run the flow one more time. Aha, there it is, top hats, 100 of them, 28.9% of our swag. There was just a slight delay there in flow, gathering that info and getting it into the report, but we saw a second refresh did it. So uh, this is just a quick tutorial to show you what's possible. You can refresh any data set using a flow schedule. And what's great is if we wanted to, we could even get fancy and we could edit this flow and we could say, send me a mobile notification so then that way every time this flow updates we know so we can say send me a mobile notification the text will say the swag the swag counts are updated link we don't need link label we don't need but you can see now how we can start to chain things together to happen around this refresh uh quick simple dirty to the point tutorial to show you how to refresh your data very simply with flow and power bi all right that's it all right guys so just like that you saw how i was able to grab data from excel and load it into power bi typically a one-time action power automate allows us the ability to refresh that data whenever we want you could do it one minute you could do it one hour you could do it one day like i did it so if you need data refresh on a regular basis, you now know how to do it. All right, guys, that's it from me. You know what to do. Click like, click subscribe so that you don't miss another video. Much love. I'll see you in the next one.